Hey everyone, today is a little bit more of a chill episode before we get into another new category, new series in the series of videos regarding the nebulas, right? So yes, today a little bit chill, uh, even wearing comfort clothes. <laughs> um, we will just do some polishing for the upgrades. All right. So we will just change the names, the titles, how they are managed. We will have them being functions instead of variables. And also we will add a new, a new function, which will tell us whether or not the the upgrade is at max level or not. Okay, so let's start with the upgrade abstract class. Okay. Here we had a simple title, which then was um, modified within the upgrade component, the theme. However, this is not really what we want to do because it gives um, too much responsibilities to the component regarding what to display based on what is the upgrade, the level, etc. And really the component should only think about, well, displaying things, not knowing what to display. So instead, I want to switch this right uh, into a function to give more responsibilities to the upgrade itself, right? So let's just get rid of this and create a new method, which is going to be tile. So here we have changed the abstract class. Now we actually need to change all the upgrades, right? So here we already have the errors, um, right? So it's cool because we actually know where. Can I click to get there? No. So I will have to find the upgrades manually, right? So let's start with uh, this one. So I actually need to override the method. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it as usual. So this will be it, right? And we remove the title instruction, right? Since it is a one level only upgrade, I actually don't want to show anything else really. It will mostly matter for the upgrade with several levels like CC02. So here we have five levels. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can do something to display that level in the name. So let's have this variable text with a string and have it equal to this. Now we actually want to display something based on the level. We don't have level here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, so we can use a match function. Mm. Match level. And if it is zero, we want to have text plus equal one.
So this should actually Based on the level of the upgrade, the current level, this should add this little thing here. And we want to return, unlock nebulas. And remove this. All right. So now we have changed the re-upgrades, so maybe we should just go into our component, which displays the upgrade, and have a little check, right, to see how it is, how the title is displayed, and if this is going to work fine. So here is our component upgrade, right? So on the label, we have the text here, right? Hmm. So label title dot text actually should just return title. Upgrade dot title. So that should be upgrade dot title. All right. And I guess that's it. Let's let's have this um, let's have this um, be displaying the current level. It will be easier to understand, I think. So now that we have reworked the title of the upgrade, what we can do is add a veil over the upgrade when it is max level. All right. So we need to change the abstract upgrade object to add a new function, which is going to be is um disabled let's say disabled that's when we return a boolean so here is our very first upgrade cc01 and we want to know if the upgrade is disabled or not so here it will be quite simple if the level is zero then the upgrade is available. And when we we have purchased the upgrade, which is one, then it becomes disabled. So let's make it simple try. Quick note here, uh, we could basically just sum it up to return um, the level of the object, right? Game ref data.cc upgrades.user01 because it is false when we don't have it and true when we do have it. So we actually can do this. Now let's change this other upgrade, which is going to be the second one. So here we will have if level is equal or superior to max level, then we want to return true. Otherwise, we want to return false. For this last upgrade, it's going to be exactly like the first one. We will return game.ref.data.cc upgrades. U O three. All right. So now we can move to the component upgrade. Again, All right. So here we actually want to do something when the upgrade is disabled. So the idea is to actually add a new node, which will be a, I think it's color, color rect here. 
that will be in front of the upgrade, like this. But we will actually make it a little bit transparent, right? So we just need to find a good way to have it veil the upgrade. Maybe this will fit, I don't know. So I'll use this at the moment and if I need it, I will change it. Right, so let's hide the color right and let's rename it Veil. In the script now, I will just uh, reference the Veil. So export variable Veil, the TJ color rect. All right, I'm gonna grab it right away because I always forget about it. Okay, and now I actually need to know when to display it and when not to. All right, let's create an update veil function, which will basically check if the upgrade is disabled or not and choose to display or not the veil, right? So simply, um, if upgrade, nope, upgrade, we do have upgrade, right? If upgrade is disabled, if it is disabled, then there dot visible equal true. Else we have bail dot visible equal false. Now we do want to actually initialize the veil and also we do want to connect a signal to know when exactly should the upgrade be available. Cool. So let's see how this is working. All right, start the game. We have a first upgrade and when we buy it, it should go hidden like this. So now we have purchased this one. So we should be able to purchase Stardust Generator Efficiency five times before it goes hidden as well. Right, perfect. There is one last Thing we can do in here because now that I am looking at this component, it's quite awful actually. So what we're gonna do is optimize this a little bit by reworking how the update works by having a main update method which will update everything and then we will manage the signals to connect and disconnect based on what we need. So let's start by creating a new function, which is going to be update, update component. It's going to be a void function. Here we just want to update everything, right? Which is update the button. We want to update label title. We want to update label description and we want to update there. Now we can just remove all those instructions and replace those with update component. And in the same time, we actually can choose, right, to connect the signals, right? So here, all these level up connects will actually be connected to um, our new method update component. All right. Something else we can do is check if the upgrade is already disabled or not. All right. So here, what we're going to do is if upgrade dot is disabled. Uh, we're going to do something special, but if it is not disabled, 
So it means that we can still purchase levels in it. We want to perform those signal connections, right? Maybe I will have a different logic for the level up method. So I'm going to create a on level up. Here, I want to check if the upgrade is now being disabled or not. If it is now disabled, then we will disconnect all the signals. And if it is still uh, available, then we will just update the component and move on. Right. So we're just going to have this method, which will update the components and check if we need to disconnect the signals. Right, so it's working well. All right, that's it for this episode. Um, so this was a, yeah, it was a quick and chill episode because to be honest, yeah, I, I'm kind of missing on what am I going to do next, right? Um, I have some ideas. But overall, it's definitely not clear and settled, right? So if you do have some things you do wish to see in a series, um, yeah, feel free to ask because eventually this might give me ideas of things to do later on, even though I do have a little bit of ideas. But anyway, I hope you like this little polishing and refactoring episodes and I'll see you in the next one.